She got a ton of hate for it. It's literally not her fault. Why is the actor or actress getting hate for this shit? All right, I have to remind myself, no harvesting. Do not click harvesting. This character can literally not have harvesting. Don't do it. Just like Joffrey got like a ton of hate for, um, but like, but like actor who plays Joffrey or like, who, who, or Malfoy, uh, the actor who played like Malfoy and Harry Potter. Oh, we're gonna like hate on the actor or whatever. And it's like, why? Don't leave them alone. Just leave them alone, okay? Uh, yeah, broken mouth. Sure, like some thief daggers though. But that's good. Got a ton of hate because he did a fantastic job. Hyphenated. How are you? What's good? This. This beautiful, this beautiful person here has streamed some potato in the past. I don't know what they're streaming currently, but hyphenated. Go check them out. Like, thanks for being here, bud. Loved watching your random, random playthroughs. We're playing through Dark Twinges uh, stuff right now. I believe you were playing Randomizer Factorio. Like my brain is working uh, appropriately, which sounds incredible. Like all of the, all of this, all of the. Um, recipes are just random they're already like annoying enough as is but to have all of them be who knows what incredible let's see here uh our health pool is zero so take some health take the coffee or reroll to lock i think because i have five we just take the coffee and this allows us to see other uh, weapons and since the sh wave Free into shop has been fixed. We can see more than one weapon, so. Also, the attack speed feels really good uh, due to the long range thief daggers that we have here. Just don't get hit and don't die, you know, in the early waves. Ooh. Yeah, I play rotating. We just pick the weapons and we go. Uh, I, don't, I never really enjoyed. I tried random, random for a little bit, but I never really enjoyed it. You'll eventually hit like farmer and feel sad about it. Or you'll hit Jack and you'll get a wrench and you'll just be like, why can this character start this? If characters could only start viable weapons, like that's that'd be better. <laughs> a little bit better. Weird. Take the regen. Seems weird. And okay. I need you to stop thrusting. Alex, how are you? Good evening. You getting ready for bed over there, as per usual? I assume. But yes. Alex the Hades Fresh File Master, also good. W using his own voice line, which is the best. Due to like Hunter not having any uh, harvesting, it's like, okay, run at all of the clumps of aliens. Clump is like way over here. Yeah, good, 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 good. Cat hair like all over my nose or something. Ooh, hey, harvesting. Uh... Master's taking it a bit far. I don't know, man. Like the amount of ways that you have annihilated the game is incredible. <laughs> it's too bad um this is how we bully people we tell them that they're good at things it's how i bully around here i probably should have bought the bag but like <laughs> let's take the alien worm more range more Ugh the problem i haven't like, like seen any more of a uh, take the alien tongue and go on i want to be able to pick up all the materials that drop as well too 
having a little extra pickup range. Kind of counter to the uh, alien worm that we picked up because all of the fruit being worse. But uh, being able to get all of the power on the level that you... And not waiting to like the next level, I kind of enjoy. Since the item, I believe, was made cheaper and better, uh, I buy it in the base game anyways. We got a box? Tree is already paying for itself. Got two crates? Wow. Streamer client. Streamer privilege here. Both of those are terrible. Uh want the attack speed actually. E, there's a weapon. Uh I guess we'll turn off life steal? Ugh, that doesn't sound very good. Just take the tier 2 thief dagger. Ideally, we'd have some more tier 2 weapons here, uh, but we do have a bunch of other stats that we've gotten. We've gotten some health, gotten some regen, have a bunch of attack speed. Uh, so, not having the weapons upgraded I don't think is a huge problem, but also walking into the aliens. Not thrusting into the aliens. Not a good idea. It's still very fragile, because usually by this time you have like 25 hit points or so. level ups. Interesting. Uh, I'll take the luck because we have a tree. Do not want to take the range. I would like to if that were health or something else. Health or armor or other things. Take the luck again, which is awkward. The scar is okay. It's just yeah, we'll take it. We don't have any harvesting to back it up is kind of the problem. Uh, I mean, this has health and damage on it, so... Take it. Save our money. Find all the Easter eggs. One. Only be one on the first spawn. Oh, there's the second one. Well, that's fun. Okay, good. Got it. There's two more, and they're on the far wall, which is great because I have no move speed. Don't let it spawn. That's good. Hunt down the um, healing alien that can ruin your day. Oh, okay. Yep. Good, good, good. I was about to say, are we not going to get it? We're not going to get it. We did. In the last five seconds here is not too much of a problem, but this is like a make or break kind of wave. You're still taking a ton of damage. You don't have a lot of health and other things. Butterfly is fine. Take this. Here. Take some armor, some health. Take the ritual to unlock lifesteal. Um, it's gonna be pretty good. Also a spooky wave. We do get to kill them in one volley of the weapons. So that's a reasonable amount of damage, I think. I don't know. But let's focus up. Hold on, I'll be right back, chat. Give me, give me a minute. Excuse me while I ban somebody. Yep. Click. No problem. That's a bot anyways, so... Fuck out of my chat. So. It's not out of the corner of my eye, because, like, first-time chatter, like, comes in. Big shock. Aw, oh, man, the free stuff. No! I've just stunted my streaming career so hard. Oh no. Wave 9, I want health. 
More armor? Ooh. Take health. Oh my god, okay, well. Take some of that. Minus 90 range. Hmm. You don't say. Very. Seems awfully expensive. God, they made fairies so bad. So bad. Can it be three regen per three items? Like, at least you unlock it every, like, three. But, like, oh my god. Fairy's not that good in the base game. Alien Baby's looking pretty good, but I do not have a, um, ugly tooth. Awkward. Awkward. I guess we'll take it like this, because I'm kind of afraid of the bait. But I prefer to get through a wave nine, and then maybe I've saved the bait. I don't know. It's like... Powered out and not take the bait. Yeah, not much commentary, because the commentary is I feel fragile, and yeah, that shit will happen as soon as I open my mouth and stop paying attention. Yeah. Oh, hey, another box. Three boxes. Oh. That is pretty incredible. Uh, we take it. Take it, because health. Uh, sure. Am I at crit? I need, like, 60, so we'll take... Ooh, but the health is here. Let's just take the health, actually. It keeps saying how fragile I am. Yeah, there's crit chance. Crit came back. If it loves you, it'll come back. Spicy sauce is fine, because it's just more hit points. More damage, more crit. No need to give all these boxes. Yeah, exactly. Stop helping the streamer. Uh, I think I will take this knife. It's always so much damage. A little safety knife. Second safety knife. Yeah, probably. Also, gambling chip is here. We'll leave the knife. <laughs> but also, I'm already putting up the Easter decorations on wave 7. Easter bunny's already here. We're already hunting for eggs. Like, what the fuck, man? Not even New Year's. The knife does an incredible amount of damage. I think it's also at crit cap, too. We're fairly close. Allowing us to just sit middle here, which is spooky, but not too spooky. Just play well, forehead. Wow, that's awfully lucky. Jeez. More luck, sure. Uh, percent damage? Yeah, of course. The percent damage as well. Another knife. Okay. Who's offering? Like, Oh, hey, crown. I get to be the king. Not this time. A lot of weapons. Um. Okay. I don't think we keep the shackles around. Uh, seems unnecessary. Uh, are we at crit cap? This one's at, yeah, this one's at 100. This one's at 90. I don't know that we need to buy insanity. Take nothing. Take my 94 bucks. The boxing glove knockback on the round boys feels good, even though damage is very high. Still behind on hit points, would like probably closer to 50 before the end here. 
due to the character how it works. That's not what you get. Schedule. Your character will be very fragile. It will feel very bad. That's okay. Because all the characters have their own unique traits. Except for Jack. That guy's an asshole. We don't like Jack. Yeah. Especially in this mod, like in this mod pack, Pacifist is not the worst potato so far. I've not played Jack yet, but like, not the worst potato so far. Because when, in this mod pack, uh, knockback happens to, when it, when not, when a character gets knocked back, they get knocked away from the potato. So like, yeah, it's just so good. Like, if only that change alone, I'll just continuing to play on the mod pack here, right? Like, that shit needs to be pushed out to the, the main client so badly. Really expensive, but I'm going to buy this blood leech and we're going to take the vest. Yeah. As we lock both of this, we're getting offered so many lures. And let's see if we die to new Rhino, who actually char who moves so much faster than old Rhino. It's actually kind of a problem. Now. Yep, don't take hits, because you can't reach in all that well. Hold, please. Switch back, my man. How you doing, brother? The mod pack is just Dark Twinge balance mod. Uh, and it is just a rebalance of things, a redesign of like things that are just out of balance. Like for example, harvesting gives five on tier one, and now in the mod pack it gives four. Appreciate that prime. Let's see if we don't die to like Rhino here. Hold on a second. Whoop. Cool. Dodge that one. Thanks, Dodge. Rhino being significantly harder because he moves faster in this one. I don't think it's a bad change, but is, uh, yeah. Bad for this character because I have no survivability. I think we do uh, high rolled on Dodge to actually survive this wave twice we high rolled on dodge several hundred tiny numeric changes and a handful of reworked items exactly there's like there's like it seems like there's like so many changes um but yeah i think all the changes are like very very good that's a great way to like describe it do i agree with all of them absolutely not but that's not it's just not, i don't agree with a lot of things when i play a game so i'm just going to come and play this and you know we do it it's fine my god, Anvil. I think some of the shop changes are also like very good as well too. Because he fixed uh, wave three shop. That was uh, bugged. And the fix of like knockback is like incredible to me. Like it's just the best. Um, stick also got toned down. Yeah, wave 12 Anvil, hello. Hello, my friend. Uh, with Wave 12 Anvil, I kind of want to do this. And then an Ugly Tooth is right here. I'm going to leave the knife because we have an Anvil, so... Go half and half on weapons here. I think the earliest I ever got an Anvil was like Wave 9 one time. I was like, wow, that, that was an easy run. Thanks, Anvil. For just showing up. Uh, also, there are redesign of like tier four items like robot arm. I think the redesign is really interesting. It gives you another weapon. That is kind of crazy and like changes the game fundamentally. The redesign of fairy. Uh, I thought fairy was already pretty bad to begin with. So it got nerfed in a way, but makes it even worse. Um, but I am not a HP regen enjoyer for the most part. What else? Uh, power generator got a cool change. Uh, so did stone skin. Stone skin is actually takeable when you see it. Uh, so I kind of like that. 
Um, there's more pressure on range as well due to guns not having a ranged passive. Guns have a attack speed passive. Uh, there's just like so many good changes. Top tier item even after the nerf. I think it's like hot trash in the first place. If you have to pay more than 10 bucks per point of regen, it's not worth it. Like, and uh, like, so that's like where I like evaluate it, right? In my own personal gameplay, right? Um, it's like the evaluation. If I have to pay more than 10 to 12 per point of regen when you buy it, it's not worth it. I also don't think you should buy a bag unless you have a tree. So people think that's a hot take. But I also don't like having minus speed, so. Yeah, we can talk about my hottest of hot takes. Like, that's fine. I'll love to talk about it because maybe I'll get better. Maybe I'll have a better take on fairy because maybe I'll think fairy in the base, base game is, like, better. I just don't think HP regen is doing anything for you if you play better. Yeah, I just don't think bag like speculative bags. I've had bags at like wave 15 that I bought and I didn't have a tree and I haven't and it hasn't done anything like, okay, well, just manually dodge DLC coming in 2024. That's right. Switchback, how's your new game coming? Do you have a, do you have a link to your new game or like to drop in chat? Your last one was a banger. So I'm looking forward to the next one. Just avoid, yeah, just manually dodge. I don't know. You can just manually dodge, just play better, right? Alex, just just don't thrust on sword. Like, just play better. Um, Haven't been able to work on it. Hey, pregnant, there you go. High five, buddy. We know all about thrusting. Oh, wait a second. No, I don't have any children or anything. I just have this child to take care of. But yeah, we talk about the evaluation of items and other things. Like, I find that HP regen is oftentimes just not doing anything for you. But I do like to stack a little bit of all of it. So, like, I think the upgrade to monkey is very good. Because I think monkey's already good. Like, cute monkey's already, like, kind of insane. I think, uh... Adrenaline's, like, not great. But it is... It will save you a, a little bit. I don't know. A lot of things. Anvil's gonna be getting us some more armor, so... Oh, yeah, here you go. Here's robot arm. You get another weapon? That's, that's kind of insane. Sign me up for a seventh weapon. Apps up. Fucking Luli. Oh, hey, harvesting. Save my money. But yeah, high five on the kid. Also, thanks for discussing items with me. I do have bad takes on items, I'm sure. But again, we always evaluate all items against our own gameplay. Um, the relevant bad attached to a bit of overpriced stats. Yeah, if you desperately need that, you can. Yeah, I, I feel the same on that. Because also, like, if you dodge, you're going to be at full health. So, like, why does it have heal attached to it? Like, I don't know why Adrenaline has heal attached to it. It should be, like, every time you dodge, you get, like, a buff of, like, attack speed or something, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense that it has healing on it. Because, like, oh, you're at full hit points and you dodge. Okay. If you don't dodge, you get hit. But, like, okay, so you don't heal. And then you have all this other healing that comes in. So the healing is irrelevant on Adrenaline. No, because I already have like pickup range. My pickup range? 90? Yeah. No. Ooh, armor. What did it upgrade? Upgraded it. See, like this. It's like sad tomato. I'm paying more than like 10 per for it, and like I get to sit at half for a while. But like, I don't know. What else am I going to spend my money on? Is like, is kind of also what I'm thinking. Bag is pretty mid. We'll take the sad tomato. It's fine. Oh, we'll definitely take the whetstone for sure. Take all these unique items. 
Wait, why is Sifty's bad here? It's free resources. It's not free resources. You're losing 33 monies on this particular wave to like do things with. And I'm already picking everything up because I have 90 pickup range. Yeah, yeah, no, nothing is free in this game. Like we shouldn't think about items off the ground as free. You should think about them as a recycled value. I also already have 90 pickup range because they buffed the item uh, alien tongue and I bought one and I picked one off, off the ground. I have soldier's level of pickup range. It's literally trash. It's, it literally won't do anything for me. I would much rather have the 33. I could even re-roll here because I bought the Sifties relic. Oh, we're definitely taking that. We're probably taking bait. Oh, we're definitely taking stone skin. It was an aggressive re-roll. I should not have re-rolled, but I was re-rolling to make a pseudo point there in the sense that like Sifties relic paid for that re-roll. We have so much damage, Jesus Christ. Adding another weapon to, to your potato as well, too, is like an incredible amount of value. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, robot arm is insane. It was already a slam pick at six armor. Like, you just like slam that shit. Every time you see it, yes, please. I don't think I've ever recycled robot arm. So I think um, putting items into a more uh, questionable state, as it were, and questionable in the sense of like, should I take this or should I not take this or is this good? I think is awesome. That's actually good. Um, make the items weird. Like, one of the things that I kind of like about SD's couch is it's almost untakeable, but there are, it's going to be us. <laughs> it's trash on bull. Hey, that's a bunch of bull. Oh, wait a second. I haven't played bull yet though, so. Explosion size and explosion damage. I have two uh, spicy sauces. I don't think we take it though. It's like 60 30 in the bit. Yeah, we just recycle this. Whatever. Don't convince myself into something stupid here. Uh, we start taking uh, defensive stats like that. Yep. You know, boom, boom. Minus speed, sure, but health. But it fills your shops with irrelevant weapons. Yeah, no, no, no. It's really bad. Yeah, you do not need those irrelevant weapons. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. Polluting your shop with like irrelevant weapons is so bad. Like one of the things that I don't like about starting a two tagged item is that you may not find it because you have two tags on the items and you have polluted your pool in which to get items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You are at the crit cap. Yeah, way over. Got it. You know, I'm over 50 hit points. Like 50 hit points is fine. We have a tentacle that will be doing things for us. Yeah, I'm going from zero to one. Now if you, uh, it's also interesting that robot arm is not unique. <clears throat> so it seems like it'd be a really good item for demon to pick up so for the demon endless run. I think I got one. I got like two robot arms in one run earlier in the rotation. But like, I like that. It makes it weird. It's like no other item does exactly that. Like all the tier four items should be something in, akin to that. Bessie's couch redesign is pretty good. Um, but yeah, make it weird. I would love to see if couch had like a standing still property, like, like the other standing still items. I kind of like the redesign, but I would love to see that it's like uh, like statue or whatever, right? Oh, hey. Uh, I guess. Oh, hey, harvesting. can't believe I'm skipping a tier 4 card. Ugh, man, weird. Attack speed, even though we just got more. <laughs> I don't need any of these. Oh, hey, hunting trophy. Probably still good. Uh... Kind of need the dodge. Awkward. Oh, hey. We just have one left to upgrade. And I guess. I do like that weird food is a tier two item. The longer you sit on the couch, ooh, I like that. Yeah, the longer you sit on the couch, the more something happens or something like that. 
Oh, I like that. I do like the redesign though, it do but one of the problems is it makes it basically always pickable for the most part. I don't know. But it, like making the items weird is like, like where it's at. What's the coffee traveler or whatever? We've talked about this in the past, right? So, ow, did you not tentacle? But you have good damage. Oh, we have insane amounts of damage. We also have seven weapons, so. And an anvil that we picked up on wave 12, Brad Comp. Hello and welcome in. This is Hunter. We're also pretty tanky too, to be honest. I took a couple hits here and there, but pretty good. All right. Sure. And sure. Power generator. Well, I've not picked up any move speed. Which is awkward, but we're here, so whatever. Oh, hey, alien tongue. Probably not that good to take, to be honest. Take the B for more dodge, because I do want... I would like to crank towards the dodge cap. Um, I don't think I save any of these. More reroll. Sure, more health. More health, more. I do love the snail change as well, too. And also, like on Ricochet, the wording uh, that describes to you what the item does. Because, like, items should be very apparent to what they do when you see them. You shouldn't have this hidden information of, like, is that item good or whatever. You should be able to, as a first time player, be like, oh, that's what that item does. And try to, like, be able to grasp, like, is that good for me right now, right? Rather than have to take it and then feel the pain of, like, well, I took it and ruined myself. Yeah, this potato has become a beast this run, even with zero harvesting. Absolute beast. It was kind of dicey. Doctor was way more dicey. I think one of the diciest runs going to be is Masochist, because I think uh, Masochist got like minus six armor or something. Yeah, sure, take it. I guess. More range. First bag paid for this bag. Probably not good to take it. <laughs> First hunting trophy paid for this one. Also probably not good to take, but I don't know what I'm going to be buying because I'm just sitting here rolling and rolling and rolling. Um, hey, speed. So it's just like, yeah, what's this? What's that? Got our standing desk. We are feeling good. I think we may be getting another win here. Oh. All coming up Millhouse. Also, I feel like wave 19 is a little bit harder that the waves spawn a little bit faster or there's more casters that spawn. I'm not sure. I haven't read all the patch notes or put all the patch notes in my head on like what the mod does, but that's just like the feeling. I feel that this wave is more dangerous than it is in the base game. Masochist. Oh, eight to five. Okay, so loses three armor. That's still fairly significant. Yeah, yeah, those are some fairly significant stat changes. I saw someone else playing the balance mod and they were playing Masochist because they're like, oh, it'll be like a slam dunk. It'll be so easy. It's like not as much of a slam dunk. But yeah, thank you. That is that's incredibly significant change. And I think it's good because uh, right now Masochist is a free win. It's so free. I want the 64. Eh, we'll just take the four melee, whatever. Whatever. Uh, ride this one out to victory. 1,200 bucks. You think a hunting trophy won't play for itself on a 100% crit character? Oh, it definitely does. Masochist, bottom right corner, fourth from last, I believe. Uh, on the Yeah, here's the ricochet. What was the thing to change as a wave? It feels so wave 16 is much more dangerous because that's one of the things that Dark Twinge wanted to change is that wave 16 is like a nothing wave. So it like spawns in faster and whatnot. Wow, that's a lot of minus speed. Oh my god, it's so bad. Um and it feels like wave 19 is more dangerous than it is on the base game. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, wave 16 definitely more dangerous, but like is wave 19 more dangerous? Like, then all the other ones kind of feel the same. These are all just feelings. I haven't like read through all the patch notes for sure. Appreciate you putting them in here though. Yeah, yeah, that lines up and they spawn faster. Yeah, earlier. Yeah, they spawn faster. Oh, hey, Peacock, that's the way to lose the game. There's like nothing to buy. Second Peacock. Dangerous bunny that pays for itself immediately. Silver mullet, okay. Guess by the bait. No specific changes to 19. Maybe just the power level being lower. Sawdog, hello, how are you? Uh, maybe just the power level being lower of characters means like wave 19 is just like more of a problem because your power level is lower on characters, right? Because it was like the balance mod for the most part from my standpoint is like lowering the, like power in the game by just a little bit. Doing okay, there you go. And then this run turn around, I don't know. Run review. Not sure. Probably like at the spicy sauces, it started to feel better. We started getting some health in here and some other things, but uh, anvil. All red items. We started buying everything. The hunting trophies weren't around that long, but 571 bucks. I don't know. What a sweet run though. Let's look at secondary stats real quick. Massive pickup range. To the point that we just nuked the Sifties relic. Quite a new run. 